Cliff here. In this video I'm going to cover the wing and fuselage and tail surfaces but the video is going to be about an hour and a half long which is way too long so I'll detail covering the wing and you'll just have to look at the photograph there to see the fuselage and tail covered and we'll crack on with the detailing later on so thanks for looking in. Um, subscribe if you're not already and we'll see you in the next one. So there we go, put the undercarriage I've now glued in, so it's just a case of going around the edge, it's got to be stuck so I've got to make a good job of it, can't afford it to pull away anywhere. And I'm putting the tissue on dry because on my test panel it it actually tightened up really nicely, so I'm not too uh, not too worried about it. Here we go. First piece of tissue. Simple as that. Stretching it out as I go. There's a little pull here, and a little pull there, and a little pull here. What I'm aiming to do is to get it as tight as I can get it, within reason. The main worry is going to be a, a sharp edge visible through the brown, which obviously I don't want. Give that a couple of little nicks, help it around the corner there. Okay. Now. Run down again. I think it won't be the end of the world if I don't paint this bottom bit at all actually because it's it's a good contrast to the brown and it looks kind of light blue anyway. Suddenly it starts to look like a wing. There we are, one side done. That was fun and didn't take long. What's that, 40 minutes or something? Not long at all. Whether I would have covered it in, uh, well, you know, if you're gonna build a balsa model, it's gotta be tissue covered, isn't it? That does look almost like blue, doesn't it? I'm thinking that I could leave it just like that. It's going to save weight if I do as well. Start putting paint on and uh, that's when things start getting heavy. So there we are folks. Uh, see you soon. Okie dokie. So what I'm going to do now, about an hour has passed since I've covered the bottom of the wing. I'm now going to cover the top of the wing uh, in the brown tissue. And I'm going to put you on speed so as you don't have to sit there and watch every single every single uh, knife cut and I'll talk again uh, after we've finished. Speak to you in a minute.
Okay. Um, a few hours have passed, so let's have a look, see what we've got. I can see a small wrinkle here. which is a bit worrying for this wing because this wing was a lot tighter to begin with. A uh, couple of small wrinkles on the front bit here. So I might have another go damping down, but it's the underneath. I made two holes in the bottom while I was mucking around. So while it was still damp, I glued a patch on I haven't looked yet, we can look together. I glued a patch on which which um, I was reluctant to do because glue stick isn't going to shrink. But anyway, here's a little tip for you. When you're gluing a patch on, don't just cut a patch out. Actually tear it, tear it around and you end up with a nice uh, fibrous edge which blends in a lot easier and you don't see the patch so easy. So let's... Let's have a look, see if it actually work. No, well, tightened out well enough, which is always good. The patch I put on, I was just explaining to you. Just wondering. Just explaining to you the patch. It has stretched out here, but not here. So, you know, it's not a disaster. It's underneath, so we can live with that. And this patch here, again, oh, I haven't tightened this yet. It might come out, it might not. But overall, it's come out quite well. The, t the tissue is obviously very delicate at this stage. Feels a, a lot lighter than it did as well. Uh, I'm going to damp this side off and weight it down. So the weights are on it. And as you can see, it's still and will be very, very wet now for a few hours. So. I'll leave it like that to dry and we'll see how it comes out but what I'm going to do I'm going to try what I did on the test pad I just as you can see it's really tight I uh, sprayed it with a coat of um, water, um, clear lacquer mat I put I, the paint I used was just ordinary household emulsion thinned down and then I sprayed clear lacquer matte on the top of that again and just to show you how uh, how good that clear lacquer matte it was just the right dusting coat if I just spray it with water and you can see that it's just sitting on the top there's no penetration at all it just sits there wipe it clean so very, very effective indeed. No dope. I go and have a look at the wing because I've sprayed some lacquer on it, given it uh, like two really very, very light coats of lacquer. I've also bent in a little bit of washout as it's settling in. So go and check that out. Right, back from the garage. The wing's looking rather smart. It's had two coats of a clear matte lacquer and the underneath I've put a little bit of wash out in each tip maybe eight three sixteenth something like that upon advisement and I mean that wing is is finished really pleased with that it's come out lovely the patch on the bottom will be covered hopefully pretty much by the air intake the paint on the carriage legs black of course I'll do that along with the tail wheel yeah very nice how heavy is it 26 grams i think yeah 26 grams um which is pretty much where it was before i started to take all the balsa lightning out so that's quite nice and did that include undercarriage i can't remember anyway 26 grams there it is um now i've got to make the guns I've got to make anything else it says on the plan actually. I've got the transfers, water slide transfers to go on. I'm not going to do any of that yet. So I'm going to put that to one side, call that finished. <laughs> 